what is quality assurance checklist quark and why we should use it quark is basically a tool that helps you to assess the quality of your work it is developed specifically for the showcases of this project it is a tool for self-evaluation of each step of the production chain which you can see on the left side it is important to remember that it is not a scoring card and it is more about reflecting your work quark offers you a set of structured questions so that you know how to do the thinking process and it also provides you with guiding material for each step quark encourages you to use scientifically approved quality standards the quark is divided into two parts what do we evaluate and how do we evaluate so for the first part the framework of quark is divided into three different levels dimension criterion indicator and for the second part assessment it is provided with checklist and guidance material in checklist you will find the list of questions and in the guidance material will help you how to tackle with those questions the first level of quark is dimension which is further divided into four different levels input data processing output outcome input data refers to the data you have processing is more about the methods you use to process the data the quality of those methods and output is about results and outcome is about the users how useful is the product for the user the second level of quark is criterion so for input data processing output it is very important to check the scientific and methodological quality and if we go further in processing and output practical relevance also becomes quite important if for outcome satisfaction is an important criteria the next level is indicator so for each level uh, there are a number of indicators provided to check the scientific and methodological quality and practical relevance so for input data the indicators are transparency appropriateness completeness in addition to these three if we further go in processing we will find three more which are robustness validation and reflectivity and for practical relevance we have suitability for the target in output we have consistency transparency reliability for to check the scientific and methodological quality and lucidity rights of use usability usefulness to check the practical relevance of the output and for uh, outcome and satisfaction we have usefulness as an indicator for each set of indicator there are set of questions in the checklist which are provided with the guidance material so these questions are there to define each indicator and if you read these questions you can understand the meaning of the indicator and uh, if you if you still don't understand the questions you can take help from the guidance material for example in the input data for transparency indicator the questions are are all the data sources referenced do the metadata follow international standards if you understand the question and you can answer them then it's good but if you don't understand then go to the guidance material and you will find the solution so for all indicators the there are different questions to explain the meaning of the indicator so for input data we have uh, appropriateness completeness then in the processing part transparency completeness appropriateness have different questions and guidance material as we go further you see that in the output part also there are questions and uh, guidance material available yeah so why we should use quark quality quality assurance checklist quark is a way of preventing mistakes and defects in the showcases and avoiding problems when delivering solutions or services to the customers it helps in self assessment and improvement the quark does not perform any corrections but it's more like reflecting your work in a transparent way for the target groups or audience